right, guys. Time to talk about jumping. Um, you know, in the martial arts, you got jumping kicks. Sometimes you need to jump over stuff. It's good for you to maintain a little bit of explosiveness, a little bit of a, a bounce ability as you get, uh, you know, as you age. That's a good thing to maintain. Uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna work on how to maximize jumping. Now, I have a little bit of bad news on this uh, topic. Increasing your vertical jump is really tough going. Um, I remember trying to do it when I was a teenager. If, if any of you remember those big goofy shoes that didn't have a heel and you do like plyometric jumps and stuff. Um, you know, maybe you get an inch or two of improvement um, of pure explosiveness, but I'll tell you what, a lot of that is genetic. Um, obviously, if you had a really bad strength to weight ratio, and then like you dropped a lot of body fat, obviously then you'd be able to, to jump higher, right? You'd be, you'd be jumping higher just because you um, had, had a better strength to weight ratio. Um, but just purely like improving your explosive vertical jumping ability, it's pretty tough. There's a lot of genetics involved there. You, uh, however, could really squeeze some goodness out of improving your technique. Uh, I'm like a pretty terrible uh, jumper and, and never have been a great jumper, but could, um, when I was working on a lot of tricks and, and jump kicks, I could always jump well enough to pull off the, the tricks and the jump kicks I wanted to do because I had pretty good technique in jumping, right? I didn't have the genetics for it or that real springy leap that you see some people have. I, could, I worked on the technique until it was good enough, like, okay, I can pull off the things I wanna do. So I, I, I wanna show you uh, a little bit about how that works, okay? So wanna be a better jumper. So first of all, we're, gonna, we're talking about a double leg takeoff jump here. And there are other kinds of jumps in Taekwondo. You know, you have your, your switch jump, you have your, your flying kind of a jump, but we're gonna talk about the pop-up jump with both legs. So, first of all, a jump is what, what you would call a hinge motion, not a squat motion. We did a squat video today, and we were talking about how as you go down, you know, your, your knees go out, your butt goes back, but your shoulders are pretty much stay, stay up as you drop down, right? A jump is not, does not initiate with a squat, right? Like I don't squat, squat down, and then try to jump up. It's, it's a, a different uh, pattern called a hinge pattern. And this is more of like, if you know about weightlifting, this is more of your deadlift type uh, movement, all right? So if you break down, like if you watch an NBA player go to do a big jump, and you break that down frame by frame, what you would see is at some point, they would be in this position. And if you check that out, I've got my, my hips, my butt, sending back, and I'm here. So first of all, you need to know how to hinge. You're not just gonna squat down and jump up. You gotta, like, you gotta get that butt back and those shoulders down a little bit when you initiate a good jump. Okay, so uh, as far as jumping for, for tricks goes, you know, when I watch the demo team jump, I always think what what they would, they would be best served by figuring out how to use their arms. If you do your highest jump, even if you hinge properly, and you jump up, and you don't do anything with your arms, you're gonna be really limited in your height, right? And so, uh, if I just kinda have my guard up, and run up, and, and jump, I'm missing half of what I need to really get up high. Most tricks have a huge arm swing component to them. So here's the drill that I recommend you work on. Uh, you should work on being able to hinge, knees bent, butt back, let your shoulders come down a little bit as you reach back behind you. All right, so to, I like to take a load up step, which is also huge in jumping. If you reach out with your left foot, and then you kind of hop like you're going over a stream and then you allow your right foot to come up next to your left foot so you go like that okay so this is actually how they test 
vertical jump usually is a, I, I believe that they kind of step back and you have to come together and then go up. I like adding a little hop step to it. You feel like you're getting a little more height, okay? So you're like this, you reach out with one foot, you hop together, and notice that I'm hinging and my arms are back. And then I'm gonna pop, squeeze your butt, biggest, strongest muscles you've got. I'm gonna pop that, boom, here, and swing my arms up. Get a big stretch in through your belly, shoulders, almost like your arms are pulling you up into the air, right? So, so an awesome drill is just, you guys are gonna laugh at my vertical here, but an awesome drill is just this. You do your load up, your hinge, you swing your arms and go up. Make sure I'm not gonna hit anything with my hands in here. So I load up, I hinge, swing, and up. Load up, swing, and see I'm really using my arms. If you were to look at like a pop-up front kick, you would use that exact movement, and then you throw your kick in the air. If you look at jump spin crescent kick, you get this hinge movement. So if, if you're adding rotation to your jump, you'd load up your arms on one side. Boom, pop, turn, kick in the air here. Okay, so pop up jump. Don't buy the shoes without the heels and waste a bunch of time and money just on trying to improve your vertical, guys, but if you're in good shape, good strength to weight ratio, and you have good arm usage, and you understand how to hinge your hips, I think those things will, will lead to at least good enough jumping so you can do pretty much whatever you want uh, in the martial arts. You may not be the best jumper, like when we were kids, when Master Ian would always jump, he, like he's just a jumper, right? Like, he could jump really high and really far, and like I was probably never gonna gonna reach that level of jumping, but I could do what I needed to do uh, anyway. So uh, cool. So work on that. Load up together, hinge, swing your arms, jump. You know, do a million of those. You'll be able to use it for all kinds of different uh, techniques. Nice work.